hello my friends and uh, from the YouTube channel today I'm going to show a very interesting game between Shang Tsu Shuk Star versus Michael Tal 1956 this game was blitz game uh, I'm not sure I pronounce Shang Tsu Star correctly but let's get into the game uh, before going into the game let's check out some of the pictures of Michael Tal uh, he used to have three fingers, uh, he was handicapped, but he was very sharp on chess. Uh, everybody loves Tal's game. So, Michael Tal with the black pieces and Zhuang uh, with the white pieces. Game start with d4, knight f6, c4, g6, with knight c3, bishop g7, e4, d6, f3, castles, uh, Samix, variation of king's Indian defense. Uh, bishop e3 e5 uh, attacking the center and knight g2 e2 c6 queen b3 e takes d uh, knight takes d and d5 from tal c takes d c takes d e takes d and and my friend in this move uh uh, please pause the video and see what you can do uh, in this uh, line. The first move comes to the mind is uh, rook d1, but Tal's play in his own style, knight c6, sacrificing a knight. So he grabs it. Uh, now rook e8. And in this position, Zhuang's made uh, some kind of blunder. Uh, he played king to f2. Let's check out other line. What would happen if castles? Uh, he should leave the bishop. Uh, Naya, rook takes e3, pawn takes, and this should be captures. Uh, captures, captures, and he's up uh, with a one pieces. And he, uh, I'm not sure uh, the game goes on like this because tal is all set for attack uh, a piece uh, up with the tal is not a big deal to convert because um, you might lose very soon so in this game what we have seen is king to f2 and after that tal captures the e3 bishop so there are many possibility of the move in the game, rook d1 was played. Let's check out other possibilities. Uh, what uh, few lines? What if king captures e3? King captures e3, then bishop check, king d2, uh, pawn takes because it was a nasty threat over there. Knight e4. Knight e4. This uh, pawn is rolling. It is a uh, queen is pinning the king. So to parry this uh, knight uh, this way and uh, queen this way is not a great move to parry uh, because uh, knight this way all are made with uh, bishop takes uh, uh, bishop check uh, all are made with so this move and some kind of queen moves are not on the main line so we do not discuss that. You can check it on your own. Knight e4. And so a knight captures, f captures, and bishop uh, getting a tempo on a queen. And this rook is also joining on a party. And this pawn is also moving. So this would not be a great line uh, to capture. So in the game d1 was played. We also can see what if c captures p3 c captures p3 uh, queen would have capture and if he had capture the rook then this check discover check on the king and king have to move somewhere because uh, this uh, square were covered uh, so king is forced to move here and knight g5 checkmate Whoa. In this line, uh, in this line, uh, what if 
instead of B capturing A3, B captures this and giving a check. So it would also not be a good line because rook will discover check and rook would capture and it would be easy win for Prahl. So we discuss king takes e3, c takes b3 and we are discussing now king e1. King e1 is also not a great move because check after king captures, um, queen captures the knight and b takes c3, bishop captures and this would be all good for Tal because his piece would be coming uh, and not a good way to defend all this. So in the game, d1 was played, it was a good, uh, good move. Now knight check, offering to sacrifice one more pieces. So in the game, f takes g, what if king goes to g3, because king uh, have only this two square. If king goes to there, bishop check, and it would be checkmate. And what if king goes to g1? King goes to g1. Rook is uh, been rook is been sacrificed over here. If uh, he greedily captures, then check, and it will be checkmate too. If uh, in this position, rook providing, uh, and what if bishop captures? What if bishop captures in this position? We would have uh, check and it would be checkmate. So this knight is be forced to be captured. Uh, force, uh, he captured it. And there comes a shock. Uh, bishop takes knight. Bishop takes knight, rook takes knight. And in this position, it is also a great position. Uh, because not doing anything would lead to checkmate. Like if king goes to g1, checkmate. If uh, queen uh, comes to attack to the uh, bishop, then it would be check like this and checkmate. So this position are very hard to... It, it, uh, it is forced to take uh, after bishop takes, uh, then queen takes d4, and now white get uh, white is in enough torture, so he try to uh, exchange the queen and win the position. Please pause the video. What you will be playing in this position? Uh, congratulations if you have found rook to e2 check in this position. Now king cannot go g3 over here because of checkmate. Uh, f3 is also a similar position. And what if king takes that happened in the game because uh, king have no square to go. It is forced to capture. Now bishop takes g3, g4 check. King goes to e1, rook check. Now, he is protecting with the bishop and he thinks of uh, knight is saving this one and Tal play, final move, rook to e2 check and yeah, at this position, white resign because after taking the rook, uh, his uh, queen is unprotected.